Hey, welcome back this morning. We're in the book of 1 Samuel. Now we're at chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Let me read it, and then we'll talk about it. This is Hannah's prayer. God, she asked for a child. She was barren. God gave her a child. Hannah wanted a child. She couldn't have one. She was barren, but God miraculously opened her womb, and she had this baby. Now we have a prayer of thanksgiving. We'll take it in two days. Today, verses 1 to 5. Let's just look at it. We're in chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. No one is holy like the Lord, for there is none beside you, nor is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let no arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is the God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and those who stumbled are girded with strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, and the hungry have ceased to hunger. Even the barren has borne seven, and she who has many children has become feeble. So we're going to just take that for now, but listen to Hannah's prayer. So several different pieces here. Hannah can be glad. Hannah can rejoice in God's salvation, no matter what happens. Yes, she has enemies. Panina made, made herself an enemy of her for no particular reason, but she is still able to go forward. No one is like God. God is the one who answers prayers. Verse 3, don't be so proud because what we see here is reversal. There's so many times there's a reversal. In the Bible, so many times the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Hannah was last and now she's first. And everybody needs to be very careful about uh, thinking about prideful revenge and victory over our, over our foes and whatever because, you know, if the whole table, all the tables might be turned around 180 degrees. So she is showing that element here. The bows of the mighty men are broken. Those that are stumbled have been girded with strength. And so she's showing this. Verse 5, even the barren has borne seven, and she who has many children has become feeble. So Hannah is really joyful because God is a God of help and mercy. And she's rejoicing. You know, I wonder how many times you and I could be rejoicing, but we're, we're kind of, we just, we're so busy, we just don't even think to give thanks to God. God is ready to bless us, but we're not ready hardly even to thank him. So may he help us to have a spirit of rejoicing, a spirit of happy. Right now, there's so much sadness in our world, so much gloom, so little hope. But through God's ways, there is rejoicing for you and I. So let's pray about this. Dear Father in heaven, the proud better not boast. You are going to bring the proud low. Father, the people who are rich through corruption, they will be brought to need. They'll be begging for bread. This is part of Hannah's beautiful prayer. We also see that while the proud are brought down low, that you exalt those who are humble. Help us, Lord. Let's help us to see ourselves with enough clarity to recognize we don't have anything to boast about. We are a pretty humble lot, Lord, pretty, pretty low on the total scale of things. Bring us up higher, Lord. Help us to to have a right evaluation of your things versus our things and to put our things aside, Lord, and, and be completely surrendered to you. As Hannah trusted in you and you answered her prayer, Lord, we pray that we will, you'll help us to trust in you, that we will be trusting servants also, whether, whichever way you choose to answer our prayers. We know you'll answer it in the wisest way and the way that helps us toward the kingdom the most. But also, Lord, if it may bring you glory, then answer our prayer in a way that, that does so. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, today. In Jesus' name, amen. And may we be people of rejoicing and prayer. God be with you today in all that you're doing.